Community Spirit Camps are funded residentials for young people, giving them the opportunity to experience exciting activities and make new friends in a fun-filled environment. During the summer of 2009, we followed two groups of young people during their time at camp. In particular, we spoke with individuals from one of the groups to find out what they thought and how their learning at camp would transfer back into their community. This is their story. We interviewed a group of young men from the diverse area of Trafford in Manchester who attend a local mosque with other boys between 5 and 17 years of age and come from a variety of backgrounds. Uh, some of them come from single parent families, some of them come from educated families, some are from uneducated families. Um, some of them haven't actually, um, they don't really get involved or access facilities uh, because uh, either they don't know how to access them or either they, they lack that confidence. These young people share a common enthusiasm for their religion, which in this case brings them together within the community on a regular basis. Prior to camp, we asked what the word community means to them. Uh, people who are in the same area get, who get involved with each other. So they help each other, they talk to each other, um, yeah, that's basically what a community means to me. A group of people who work together and solve problems together. They're like a football team or a cricket team, they're like a community because they're all together. There are people around you that you like, that you like work with. Yeah. The word community to me means um, a group of people who help, uh, who help each other to solve problems. The group got involved with YHA Community Spirit Camps following encouragement from their group leader. Uh, we heard about it through agencies, the council. Uh, I also heard about it through my own course. Uh, I'm doing Muslim youth work uh, at degree level. Um, so we do get in contact with uh, a few organisations. We organised an event uh, recently, I think it was in May. In May we did an event in Stratford High School around gangs, groups and street life. Uh, and we had the youth hostel agency there to have this stall up. Yeah. We wanted to find out from the group what their expectations of camp were and what they were looking forward to most. It would be good to meet all the new people because so then I can make new friends and learn how to associate with more people. The activities, to be honest with you, I am, I'm, I'm going to enjoy them and I think uh, the environment is going to be my time out. So just be a bit spacious and me and myself and obviously the other people who are going to be there. So it's going to, I'm going to really see my character, I think, yeah. I'm looking forward to learn to like how to interact with people I don't know and um, you know look forward to all the activities with people I don't know as well. It'll be pretty fun. How to learn new activities and new experiences. I'm looking forward to do paint bowling because I've not done that before and um, Back in. During camp, young people work with individuals from different communities, encouraging them to understand different backgrounds and beliefs, whilst tackling any difficult issues they may be facing in their own community through challenging and exciting activities.
well as speaking to the group from Trafford, we spoke with group leaders from Rochdale to find out why these camps are so beneficial and the advantages of taking part. Group work, building on their own personal skills and confidence, self-esteem, and possibly a look at raising their aspirations about what they want and how they want to move on with different things, how they might want to change some aspects of things that they're already doing and involved in. Um, and actually looking at the good things that they're already involved in doing as well. Um, it would be really good if they actually looked beyond the boundaries of the, the, the small part of their area in which they live and actually seen other people from other areas, you know, in the same light they would do, you know, with maybe for some of the, the friends and family they currently live with or live around and so on. I think coming out to somewhere so rural is actually very different from the urban area that they actually live in. And it's even a rural area has got quite a different culture from a, even a small town like Rochdale. So I think there's going to be different things that they're going to experience here that are going to be very different from their own sort of general experience of the small world, which is Rochdale Borough, really. We revisited the Trafford group to find out how the YHA Community Spirit Camp has helped them understand and deal with community cohesion in the future. Uh, I saw it course because I got really muddy and uh, ran around and got to so socialise with lots of people I didn't know. We usually what we do is just go to school, come back and that's about it. Play, and play on my console and stuff. And then on the weekends go out and stuff, and that's it. So it was really different. Meeting all the people that were there. And um, also paintballing. It hurt a bit but it was worth it. Um, I think I learned by myself was um, that I can work with a group, that I can meet new people and that I can like, do a lot of activities. Maybe in like a year or two I can hopefully help out with more activities and youth work. Yeah, the course has given me the confidence to do that and, and it's like kind of given me an idea of how to do it because the people with us did it pretty well. Uh, the camp itself was very good, especially the activities. Um, all of them uh, were good team building exercises. Um, they helped each other. Um, it was a good experience for them to actually, the Krypton Factor was really good, where they actually experienced how uh, the people in the uh, army, um, how, what training they have to go to, how intense it is. And they actually had that feel and they actually appreciated um, the, the struggle that they have to do and, 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 the, and the training that to um, uh, take. It, makes it, it helps you conquer your fear. I saw like, a few people that I'd never met before, but uh, by the second day, I really got to uh, meet them and know who they really are. Following camp, work continues back in the community with the guidance of the group leader to build on the positive outcomes that were experienced during camp and to continue their promotion of community cohesion. It was an exercise where they had to overcome their fears and some of them did that brilliantly. And, and they did become confident after, uh, confident after that. They learnt a lot of personal skills, um, also social skills, uh, communication skills. Yeah, it's made me more confident. Before, if it was like a really hard challenge, I wouldn't really try it, but now I can like at, at, at least attempt it. Yeah, it made me uh, start, uh, start to go to the rugby and play more cricket and uh, help people around my area with stuff that they need help on. There's a lot more people in the community that I know, so that it's better to know um, people in other communities. It's a, a brilliant way of, a great way of building a relationship with the young people uh, over a certain period of time. You come out of your comfort zones and you go into another environment where you will be working with not just your own young people but other young people also and you'll come into contact with a different environment. Community Spirit Camps are available to young people throughout England at over 20 YHA centres. Contact YHA for more information on how to get involved.